Hi everybody, this is Material Girl 338, otherwise known as Diane. Happy pre-New Year, uh, making um, fresh uh, marinara sauce, and I'm gonna make um, lasagna, the way my mom did it. So, uh, what I have here is, these are the, uh, no, you don't have to boil these uh, shells. And they come in many brands. The oven ready lasagna okay so first I got to make my sauce I got my oil preheating I'm gonna use about two or three garlic cloves these are two jars of my fresh uh, tomatoes that I can every year and what I did was I blended them a little bit have about three links of Italian sausage and it's got the parsley in it. it's got the cheese in it if you live near if you live near like a pork store or something you can get it there if you or if you don't if you live near a supermarket the best brand if you only have a choice to go to the supermarket is um, primo sausage if you can get primo those are pretty good. Check the labels. You're going to hear a lot of noise because my husband's going up and down. So I'm going to use about, I don't know, three. And I have the oil very, 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 very low. I don't use this much garlic, but I have it, you know, I'm peeling it right now. So I'm going to pre-peel it. Put it in here. And I need my garlic presser. I love my garlic presser, okay? I don't know. I wore off the name, so I don't know which one it is. But this is the good one. When I make the sauce, um, I don't really cook it too long. So, this is going to be different than the, um, just my regular plain, hold on, this is going to be different than my regular plain marinara sauce because I'm going to have, I'm going to put the sausage in it. Yeah, you can make noise. I told them that you're working on the house. Okay, so that's like three cloves already. And so when I make the regular sauce, it usually takes me about, I don't know, 30 minutes, 35 minutes. But this, uh, you know, I have the sausage in it, so I want it to cook a little bit. Okay, I gotta wash my hands, I know. Stepping away from the camera. Okay. So I want you to see my oil is hot. It's boiling. I'm going to put the onions in. So I have a lot of, uh, I got two quarts of, of tomatoes. So I have to put a lot, you know, a lot more onions in it and a little bit more oil. And what I do is I wait for these to get nice and like a gold. Not, not brown, gold, and then I add 
the garlic, but I'm not going to add all that garlic. That's, I think, four cloves of garlic, which is a lot. So after I... Um, after I put the sauce in it, I'm going to show you how I prepare my ricotta to make the um, to make the lasagna. This has got to cook, and I'll come back in the next step. All right, guys, my onions are nice and golden. I just found this; I had it in the refrigerator. So I'm going to use this garlic and a little bit of this garlic. And when you put the garlic in, don't let it cook too long. You don't want to burn it because then it gets bitter. Okay? Just give it like a minute. Well, not even a minute. A couple of seconds. And then... There's some pieces here that are still clumpy, and I like them when they're clumpy, because that's what you call um, pomodore, where you use the whole, like, tomato. Okay, so you stir it good. You want to incorporate all the oil. And then I put my seasoning in. So my seasoning, then I got to put my, my basil in. So this is my measure. Like if you watch my videos, you see this is my measure. Okay. And the salt, maybe three of them. Because I have two jars. And this is sugar. One, two. As I see as I go along, sometimes they are a little too bitter and I have to add a little bit more sugar. The sugar helps with the acidity. Okay. Okay. This is from the summer. And I have two bags of these. This is the basil. And this is my Genovese basil. Okay, I put that much in. Two, two, as much as you could hold with this. Not too much, but just enough to give it a flavor. The sausage I'm not going to put in yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this... I'm going to cover it, let it come to a low boil, and then I have to add my secret ingredient. Okay, everybody, I'm making the uh, stuffing for the lasagna, and it's very easy and it's very simple. Get ricotta. I, uh, my husband ended up buying two pounds, which is a lot for two people. You need eggs, two eggs. You need uh, grated cheese. I use Lucatelli or Picorino Romano, and I buy the wedge and I grade my own. And you need your pots. And my sauce is coming to a boil. So I want to show you before I do this what I do to the sauce. Okay, as you can see, the sauce is boiling. But I have it on a low boil, okay? I don't have it on a high boil. So because the sauce is fresh, it has a lot of acid in it. So I wait for the first boil. And then I have baking soda. This is my secret ingredient. Baking soda. 
takes out the acid from the tomatoes. Just a little bit, not too much, that, like that much. I may put a little bit more in. Just stir it in. Not baking powder, make sure it's baking soda. Okay. Just on the tip of the spoon. And I only do it twice. Don't do it too much because what happens is it takes the flavor of the tomatoes out. It pulls the, you know, the flavors out. But if you're going to work with, you know, fresh tomatoes, that's a good idea. Especially my husband has uh, acid reflux, so like sauce is not really his... Uh, good for him, so I make I'll make part of the lasagna with a little bit of sauce on it. The ricotta is okay. You can have the ricotta. So I'm gonna let this. It came to a boil, so now I'm gonna add my sausage to it. And this sausage has this guy that I get it from has the strings. So when it falls apart, I have to take the string out because, you know, you could eat the string. But I have to wait for it to fall apart. And I'm going to wash my dish because that had the sausage in it. I'm going to rewash my spoon. Okay. I'm going to put this on low. Cover it. I have it on that low. Wait, could you see it? And every once in a while, I stir it. Hey, everybody. I'm making the stuffing for the uh, lasagna. Okay? Very easy. I use uh, polio. If you can get polio, get it. Because it's good. Polio is the original ricotta. I also can make my own, but you need the um, curd. No, that's to make my mozzarella. Uh, you can make your own ricotta. And I did it once, so it came out good. You have to have the white vinegar. You can watch some videos and, you know, get to see some homesteading videos, and they'll show you how to make your own. Because, I mean, this is expensive. This is like, I'm sure he paid about $7 for this. Here in New Jersey, they know there's a lot of Italians, and they know we make these on the holidays. So, you know, they kind of like make the make it higher. So you're taking all, I'm taking all the ricotta. Italians used to eat this for breakfast mm, in the morning. It's delicious. I got cheese here. I don't know how much is here. I'd say that was um, about a half a cup of cheese. And use good eggs if you can, no shells. another egg you 
Yeah, I'm gonna use another egg. And I gotta stir my sauce before I burn it. So I may have to lower it too. Try to use good eggs. We buy uh, the Vital eggs. They're expensive. Everything that's good for you is expensive. You know? Yeah, so three is good. Three is good. And I'm going to put a little bit of salt in here. All you should do is mix it. Now this is the stuffing minus the mozzarella. I have a video. If you look on my old videos, I show you how to make fresh managot, and my, it was my sister-in-law's recipe. But they, I chop up uh, the mozzarella. The, you don't have to use fresh mozzarella. You can use like you know palio. And then you chop it up little, little tiny chunks and you add it to the uh, ragotta. Don't mix the ragotta too much because it gets liquidy. It gets liquefied. And then I have the video where I show you how to make the crepes. Okay? Let me add a little bit more parsley. And while the sauce is cooking, I'm going to cover this and refrigerate it. And then when the, so when the sausage is almost, you know, cooked, I take the sausage out and I chop it up and I put it back into the sauce. Because then I'm going to make my layers of the lasagna. So I want to show you something. The sauce has been cooking. I have it on very, very low. When you stir it, you're going to see it's like if you're using fresh tomatoes. If you're using canned tomatoes, I don't think there's a difference because it's a little more thicker. But the, you see, it's like watery. But that's going to cook down. So the way how high it is here, it's going to go down. Uh, I'm going to keep the cover on it because I want it to cook quickly because I got to make the stuffing. Okay. So I'm just, you know, aware that there's this string here. So when I take it out, I'm going to take that string out. It needs a little bit more seasoning. I'm going to add a little bit of sugar, a little bit more sugar. And more salt. Now it's got to cook and it's got to come down if your if your sauce is too watery like this and you want you can add a, a half a can of paste what my mother used to do was she used to take the paste and she used to fry it until it turned orange in a little bit of olive oil in a frying pan on low and then when the paste was orange she put it into the sauce Okay, everybody, um, I'm at the final process of the lasagna. The sauce, I put a little bit of sauce in each of the bottom of my pans. I took the sausage out and I put it in my little Cuisinart. 
and I mashed it up. And I forgot this piece here. Um, I have some cheese, Picatelli cheese. I'm gonna get a spoon for that. I have the stuffing. So I want you to be in view. And this way you see what I'm doing. Okay. So the sauce is still cooking. And I'm gonna lay the lay the sheets in it. And then you're gonna put a little bit of the ricotta. Now don't add a lot because what happens is the ricotta heats up and then it spreads. So you just need a little bit and then plus you're gonna be keep on layering this, you know? You, you don't wanna overpower it. Sprinkle some of the sausage. And then I have to get a dish because I forgot my sauce. So I just shut it off and it's been cooking for maybe about a half an hour. And at that point you have to keep on testing it and keep on, you know, seeing if you need a little bit of salt, a little bit of sugar. I never used to put sugar in my sauce, but now I notice that it really does need it. So I'm going to add a little bit more ricotta here. And then I'm going to layer it again. So I'm going to layer it the opposite way. Okay. Like this. Like this. And like that. Sometimes if you have to cut it, the edge, that's okay too. So it fits in the pot or the pan. Just a little bit. Okay, so just little, I'll do about three of them, you know, three different times, this way you get the gist. I'm sure, you, you know, you got the gist of it. I, I have to use my hands because my hands are the best measuring there is. Okay, so now I'm going to add another layer going the opposite way. Take off the... And as you're putting the sauce, don't put too much because you got to remember when it heats up, it's going to move around. And then what I do is I put this in a pan on a tray just in case it overflows. So, you know, I don't get it all over my oven. So I'm going to make this pan for you. And then I'll show you when it's done. A little bit more. Sausage. I buy the sausage with the funnel seeds in it. If you're near a pork store, that's a big help. If not, and you buy the sausage uh, from the grocery store, and you're lucky enough that they have, you know, the Primo sausage, and I think Primo sausage is like all over the states. So you may, you know, luck out with that. And I'll add another layer. So let's open up another box.
Now these are from Italy. You see, I don't know if you could tell the, the difference of the color. Italy, they use Durham wheat. These are very, very light. Italy doesn't tolerate any GMOs, any nonsense in their foods. They will not tolerate it. sausage not too much because I already have a lot of sausage in the pot this is going to be the the final layer but before I do that I'll add a little bit more for the topping salt If you look at my old videos, you're going to see a lot of um, good Italian dishes that I have. Especially, check out my chicken cacciatore. Nobody makes the chicken cacciatore the way my mother and my grandmother used to make it. Okay? Final. Cinnamon. On top. Just a little bit of a sprinkle. I know you're probably saying, what the heck? And a touch of nutmeg. When I first did this, my husband said, what are you doing? Oh, my, it doesn't, and then he couldn't stop eating it. So I'm just taking a little bit so that I could just sprinkle it on. Not too much. It just gives it that, that flavor. So what I'm thinking is, I think I can make this a little bit thicker. I need to add another sheet to it, but I don't know. I mean, let me give it another sheet while we're talking. So, you see this? It's so thin. Now, I got the oven preheating at 375 for about a half an hour now. keep this moist because then the sheets the sheets dry out so halfway through the cooking what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna cover it after it cooks you know almost before I take it out all right I'm gonna have to add a little bit more ricotta just to top it off And a little bit over here okay and I'm gonna add a little bit more cinnamon not too much just a sprinkle -ish. and a little bit of the nutmeg This is going to get ready. It's going to go into the oven. I got it at 375. Then I don't think you want to watch me do the other pan. And then when it's cooked, I'll show you the finished dish.
Okay, everybody, final video. I took it out. Uh, it cooked, it took about, I'd say, an hour at, at 375. And I, what I did was I put, I didn't put a top on it. So when it cooked, you know, it got a little brown over here. But I didn't add too much sauce. If you're going to make it, put a, a tin foil on it or the cover for the uh, whatever pan you have or pot you have or dish you have and let it cook under the cover for a good uh, 45 minutes and then take off the cover. This way, this will get a little bit brown. This is what it looks like. It's delicious. I just tasted it. The I would I should have added more sauce to it, but you know you can add your own. So and this freezes really well. The other dish that I made, um, I didn't put it in the oven. So uh, what I'm going to do is once I I want it, I'm just going to put it in the oven and let it cook like an hour, three seventy five, and that's it. I tasted it. It is delicious. So, guys, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments, please post them below. And um, if you make it, give me a, a comment on how it came out. Okay? Bye, everybody. Have a happy new year.